Hey guys, welcome to a new fun little Python tutorial. Today we're going to implement the famous snake game in Python. You will learn a little bit about different data structures, in specific about lists and tuples. You will learn how to use different control flows to handle the game logic. And you will also learn how to use a built-in module called Curses to manipulate the screen inside your terminal. So before we get started, I want to give credits to this guy here. So he posted this snake code eight years ago on GitHub and I'm using this code. I only improved it a little bit so that it is easier for you to understand. But basically this guy here deserves the credits. So I'm putting the link in the description and you can check it out. All right, so let's get started. And as I said, we are going to use the curses module. So this is a library to manipulate the screen inside the terminal. And this is already built in in Python. So you don't have to install this and we can start right away. So we import curses and then we have to set up our screen first. So set up our window. So we have to call a few methods from this library. So we say curses.initscr, init screen. Then we create a new window by saying win equals curses.new win. And then we have to specify the number of lines, the number of columns and the starting points. So here we say 20 lines, 60 columns, and it should start at zero, zero. And here we have to be careful because this means that the Y coordinate is coming first and X is coming second. And typically in most of the applications, this is the other way around. So be careful here. Then we say win.keypad is one. So because we want to use the keypad, so the arrow keys to control our snake, then we say curses no echo because we don't want to listen to other input characters and echo this to our terminal. Then we want to hide the cursor. So we say curses dot um, curse underscore set and set this to zero. Then we want to draw a border. So we say win dot border at zero. And we say win dot no delay is one or true. So this means that we are not waiting for the next user input. So until the user hits the next key, but instead we're continuing um, and then it just using, it's just using minus one if we don't get another, another event, but our loop can still continue. So now we have uh, the window set up. So now we need the game logic. And for this, we are using a while loop. So for now, just say while true. So this is basically an endless loop and here we are waiting for the next user input and we get this by saying event equals win dot get ch get the next character and then we have to do something and at the very end we want to call curses dot end win so this destroys our window again and then print the score. So we want to keep track of a score. So for now we say our score equals zero. And somewhere inside here we increase this whenever we hit uh, the food. So now let's improve our print message a little bit. Let's use an F string and then say score or final score equals and then we can use the curly braces with this f string and use um, this variable here. So now um, let's save this and let's run this so we can use the terminal here. So this is by the way the built in terminal in my Visual Studio code editor but you can also just use your normal 
editor and then run the script by saying python python snake.py so this is the name of the file here and then if we run this we should see our window so yes this is working so here we have our game window so let's this is now is running endlessly because we have the while true loop so i'm hitting control c to stop our python script again and now what we need uh, we need to have data structures to keep track of the snake and the food so let's say snake and food and for the snake we are using a list and inside the list we are using or storing coordinates so y and x coordinates and for this you could use another list for each um, coordinate but even better here is a tuple because a tuple is immutable so you cannot change this after the creation and this is fine because um, we don't have to change the coordinates and a tuple allows python to make several optimizations compared to lists so yeah so this is a nice little improvement here that we can use and then let's just put in some starting coordinates so we say for 10 and for 9 and for 8 so remember the first coordinate is y so this is all in the same row but it has different coordinates and our food also has an initial coordinate so here we again use a tuple and say this should be at 10 20 and then for example we can draw this here to see if this is working so for c in snake for every coordinate we want to say win dot at character and then we say c zero so the y coordinate c one and then let's use or we have to specify the sign so here we are using a asterisk and for our food we have to say the same thing food food and here let's use the hash sign and now if we run this again then we see we have our snake here and we have our food here so now of course our snake should move so um, let's stop this again and um, continue so the first thing we want to change is we don't want to have this as a endless loop um, or basically we can add the first food right away up here and then um, we want to say this should run as long as the user hits the escape key and the escape key is defined as key 27 in the curses module so let's define this as a constant here and then we also can get the key and the first key is curses dot um, key right so we are starting by moving the snake to the right and then we say key while the key is not equal escape we continue and here first thing we want to do is to add some information so we can say window at string at uh, line zero and column two and here we add score and then let's say score plus the string of the score and then let's use another space sign so we want to draw the score into our screen then we also want to increase the speed when our snake gets bigger so for this we are setting a time time out and so this is just a formula from the code 
So one uh, in GitHub, so 150 minus the length of the snake and then divide it by five. Um, sorry, I have to see that I'm in the right parentheses. So divided by five plus the length of the snake divided by 10 and then modulo 120. So this should increase speed um, based on the length of the snake. So now we have our timeout. Um, now what we want to do is here, we want to get the next key, which I already set here and um, now our right now our key is the right arrow key so let's um, use this as a previous key so our previous key equals this key then we get the new event and then so in the beginning we set we are we set the setting no delay so this could be a minus one so this means the user didn't hit any new um, arrow key. So we say our next key or the key equals the event if the event is not equals minus one and other ways, otherwise we just use the previous key. So then we continue in the same direction. So now we have the new key and then we want to check if this is one of the arrow keys and then we can say if key not in and here we can you check the arrow key so we can say curses dot key left curses dot key right curses dot key up and curses dot key down and also we want to check for the escape key so th if this is not in those keys then we simply again use the previous key so we say key equals previous key and then what we want to do is we want to calculate the next coordinates for our snake. So for this, let's get the current coordinates of the head. So this is y equals snake zero and then position or again index zero because index zero here is the y coordinate. And the, here, this index zero means we are getting the first tuple. So this is our head and this is our tail. So this is our Y and the same with our X. So our X equals the first tuple or tuple zero and then coordinate one. And then we check the key. So this must be one of those keys. So we can check if key equals equals curses dot key down. Then we say our Y plus equals one because the coordinates go from zero in the upper corner to uh, they in increase with increasing coordinates. So if we want to go down, we have to increase our Y. If we want to go up, we have to decrease our Y. So we say minus equals one. And let's copy this. And here we check for key left and key right. So if we have the left key, then we increase the X and otherwise we increase the oh sorry here we have to be careful for key left we want to 
decrease and for key right we want to increase our x so now we have the new coordinates and then we want to insert them into our snake so we want to say snake insert and this should be our new head so we want to insert this at index zero and then as a tuple y and x and so usually or most of the times you use the append method for a list which is better because it's faster so this append has a o of constant time and inserting is actually not very good so this has a o of n because then it has to shift all the other elements inside our list but for now this is fine for this code this just makes it easier here now we have the new head in the beginning and then we want to check um, check if we hit the border so here we check if our y equals equals zero then we break if our y equals equals the last row and this is 19 because we have 20 um, lines specified then we also want to break and the same for x so if x equals equals zero we break and if x equals equals 59 then we break so this means we are at the border and then we also check if the snake runs over itself so if snake runs over itself so if snake so here we check if our head so this is snake zero is already in our array or in our list so if in snake and here we have to check all the other positions starting at one until the end so this is called list slicing here then we break as well so in this case is we break and otherwise we can check if we hit the food so here we say if snake um, zero equals equals food so if this is at the same position as this coordinate right now then we basically we eat the food so this means we increase our score plus equals one and then we want to draw a new food so we say our food equals an empty tuple and then we say while food is not equal um or sorry while the food equals equals the empty tuple then we want to get a new food food equals and this should be a tuple and now we um, calculate random coordinates so we import a module from random import rand in so this will give us a random integer and then here um, we will use this and do a rand int in the range from 1 to 18 so 1 away from the boundaries for y and the same for x so this can be in the range from 1 and 58 and now if we check if the food in snake then we don't want to use this because we don't want to place the food in the snake and so we say food equals the empty tuple again so then our while true loop continues and otherwise when we are done and have the new food then we draw this so we say win at character and this is the same as we are doing it in the beginning where do we have it here this um, win dot at character 
and here at food zero, food one, and our sign. So um, if we are at the position of the food and we do this and otherwise we simply move our snake. So here move snake and we do this by removing the last coordinate, so the tail, and we do this by calling snake dot pop. This will return the last coordinate, so this one, and it will also remove it from the array. So now we have the tail and at the position of the tail we want to draw a space again. So here we say um, win dot at character and here we say last zero and last one and then as a character just a space and then we remove the head and if we are done we simply draw the snake so the new position of our snake so here we have to be careful we have to use snake zero zero and snake zero one and we are using an asterisk here and then we should be done and let's try this so let's say python snake dot pi and we see we can control our snake here and now let's see what happens if we eat the snake so now we have size 4 now we have size 5 we also see that our score increases so this is working and now we hit at the border and we see our final score equals 3 so this worked. Let's try it one more time. So score one. So this is a little bit fast. So you can play around with this timeout method to increase the speed again. So yeah, but basically it's working and I hope you enjoyed it and learned a few new things and then see you next time. And by the way, I have two exercises for you to improve the code. So number one is right now we can, if we are going right and we hit the left key, then we immediately lose. So basically we, do, we are doing a 180 degree turn. So you could not allow this. So this is one thing that you can improve. And number two is um, you could, if we hit the boundaries, then you could implement it such that the snake comes out at the other side again. So this is basically the functionality as in snake version two. So these are two exercises that you can try at home. And yeah, see you next time. And if you like this tutorial, please like and consider subscribing. This helps me a lot. See you next time. Bye.